In this demonstration, I will show how to use Java, uh, Eclipse, and uh, how to write a small program in Java. When you uh, install Eclipse, now there are lots of videos out there on how to uh, install Eclipse on various different machines. Please follow those things if you don't have uh, a version of Eclipse installed. Uh, one of the important um, concepts in Eclipse is setting up your workspace. So your workspace, uh, you need to set it up uh, at the time you run Eclipse for the first time. Uh, or otherwise you can say switch workspace. Now the workspace is just a directory or a folder. I have set it to d colon slash in my case. And that's where uh, Eclipse will save all your uh, the various projects. Now every Java program will uh, likely, or it's ideal if you put it in a separate project. And uh, that's this is where they will be saved. So let's create a very quick Java program. I will go to the file menu, click on new, and then I can choose either project or Java project. Um, I can go either way, but since Java project is there, I will choose Java project. And you have to give it a name. So I'm going to call it my first Java uh, project or program. Now this project stuff is all about Eclipse, it has nothing really to do with Java or the Java language. So um, Java has uh, methods, classes, and packages. So that's what we are going to see now. If we um, expand the, the project that we just created on the, the package explorer, it's called the package explorer, but it's showing uh, projects, so that's just how the naming works in um, Eclipse. We expand the project we just created and uh, we right click on the source or context click and we get class. We had to choose a class, we want to add a class, and it's asking to enter a package name. The package name is actually optional, but um, it's a good idea to. Um, give it a name, call it my package, call it whatever you like. Generally lowercase is what we use for that. And for the class name, um, so the class is um, like a blueprint, we say, and uh, every Java program needs to have at least one class. So I'm going to give this class a name called uh, Hello World. Uh, not a very um, special name, but uh, you can see the name starts with a uppercase or a capital letter and uh, every every word will start with a capital letter and they all joined up. So this is called camel case and it's a convention that we use for class names. And you might also want to click on this public static void main string args and that'll just add a few uh, lines of code that'll make it a little bit easier to get started on everything. Now you can also click on these other ones but I'm just going to keep them um, as they are for now. And we have now created our Java program, um, and this is like a skeleton code. You can actually try to run this by pressing the run button, and um, of course it won't do anything because there's nothing uh, in this thing. So you will see uh, this thing over here is a comment, what I have highlighted. We don't need that. We can actually get rid of it or just leave it there. But if you're going to write any code, uh, you need to put uh, it inside the main method. So uh, what we have here is the, the declaration or the definition of the main method. And uh, you, ha you can also see there's an open and a close curly brace, right? So uh, this is what was added when you clicked uh, public static white main in the uh, new class creation uh, dialog box. So what you want to do is tab into this or uh, keep spaces however way you have it. set up your editor for the indentation and you want to type system dot out dot no it's taking a bit of time to think because it's trying to suggest various things to me and sometimes it's not very good at suggesting things like that but um, so system dot out dot print ln hello world is the uh, first thing that we are going to uh, type and see. So every statement, um, every 
uh, statement that is not a uh, block of code um, or the start of a block of code will uh, typically finish with a semicolon um, and uh, function sorry method names don't uh, finish with a semicolon of course same with class names so if it's just a single line of code by itself uh, it will uh, very likely well it's going to finish with a semicolon so now I can run this by pressing the play button and now it's asking me uh, select the resources to save uh, I can click always save resources before launching and it won't ask me this again it will automatically save and run so and there you go so down here is the place where you get uh, the output that's like the the console window so let's do a few uh, more things now I can um, create a string uh, called word1 and I will assign hello to it and I'll create another one word2 uh, and that's called world so I can do like this I can say uh, word1 plus word2 that's some concatenation what we are doing there now I missed a semicolon you can see it put a red underline there right so by putting a uh, plus in between two strings or two text um, or string literals um, it will be joined up it's not going to be added like in mathematics so th this is going to be printed without a space in the middle and um, you can see it will be joined up there you go so if you want a space in the middle what you can do is you can put that space explicitly like that and then you run it and there it is so um, if you want to uh, get the second word from um, the user or from the keyboard, what you can do is you can say um, import java.util.star or .scanner. That's one of the uh, common ways we show uh, how to do, how to get keyboard inputs uh, keyboard inputs um, in uh, introductory programming subjects, for example. So we um, want to create a scan object uh, you, uh, you can give it any name you like um, and I will explain which part I'm referring to when I say any name um, so this part over here this uh, we can call it keyboard anything you like um, so that's um, a name that's up to you that's an object name so what we want to do next is when we say word 2 instead of saying world I, I want to get um, an input from the keyboard so I can say keyboard dot um, keyboard dot next line because it's a string that we're getting so um, that's okay but the only issue is it um, it will not tell me uh, what to enter so if I don't know what this program is uh, I will not know that it's waiting for some keyboard inputs so I'm going to say uh, enter your name right. so then I will say enter your name get the keyboard input and store it in word2 and then print the things out so let's try to run this and there are some warnings here I will get to that in a second so it will work but can be made better so first issue that or first um, not so nice thing is uh, when you have to um, enter uh, a value it will you will have to first of all you'll have to click here to get the focus to the console because that's where you enter the values and then you have to enter your name um, let's call it let's say it's Smith your name well it's entered immediately below the line that's because we used print over here so that we can change to print uh, sorry we, we had to use print instead of print ln and then we hit hit enter and then it will say hello Smith so it's just a, a cosmetic thing it wasn't an important thing the other issue is uh, that warning that I mentioned so over here there is a uh, yellow uh, thing saying there's a warning if there's a resource leak keyboard is never closed so it's always a good practice to um, free or let go of your resources and you can do that by saying keyboard.close 
all right so now we don't have any warnings we don't have any error messages error messages are actually uh, pretty serious so that is an error message you will get a um, red thing saying you can't um, you know there's a problem so error messages need to be fixed or you can't uh, get the program to work uh, so uh, but it's very easy to fix error messages like I showed that there will be some red message um, and you just keep your mouse over it and it'll tell you um, at least where the problem is all right so uh, those are the some of the basic things that you can do in Java and this is more of a hello world thing uh, just a quick demonstration on uh, how to get things to work I hope this was useful